Welcome everyone back to WWG Wrestling Episodes. Make sure you smack the like button, subscribe to the notification bell, turn on so you never miss an upload. And if you guys watch this video from start to finish, you're part of the awesome squad. I'm Eric Bischoff, along with my partner commentating Jerry the King Lawler. Last episode, Shane McMahon, the manager of WWG Wrestling Episodes, stood up to the Ministry of Darkness, making the Ministry of Darkness fight each other in a no holds barred triple threat match which the leader of the ministry and WWE Wrestling Champion, The Undertaker, watched closely as he was trying to figure out who was the strongest and the weakest in the Ministry of Darkness. A lot more last episode happened, so check it out in the top right hand corner of this video along with our main channel and our second show, WWE Indie Series. Oh no, now wait a minute. The Ministry of Darkness is in the ring. Rob Van Dam, Maven, and Billy Kidman all beat the living hell out of each other last episode all because of Shane McMahon, but then, on top of that, The Undertaker, the leader of the ministry, wanted to see, anyway, who was the strongest and the weakest in his ministry of darkness. Rob Van Dam, Maven, and Billy Kimmon all beat up, standing in the middle of the ring, because the last episode's no holds barred triple threat match. And here he is, the WWT wrestling champion and the leader of the ministry, The Undertaker, with microphone in hand, ready to speak. What is The Undertaker planning on doing with the weakest link in his ministry. That's what I really want to know. Last episode, I observed all of you fight and beat the living hell out of each other. Two of you truly showed me what kind of fighting souls you have. The other one showed me weakness and fear. Uh-oh, that is not good to hear. Now where's the Undertaker going? He's he's leaving the ring. What the hell? Oh my God! No 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 no! Undertaker's got that spaded shovel. That spaded shovel. Oh my God! What the hell is he planning on doing with that? Oh my God! That is a solid steel spade shovel, guys. The individual who showed me weakness, fear, showed me that he no longer deserves to be in my ministry of darkness and deserves to be inducted into hell's hallway just like all the weak in WWT wrestling. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, who's the weak one? Who is the weak one out of these three? Oh my God, no! He just hit Maven right in the head with that steel shovel. Oh my God, this is not right. This is inhuman. Oh my God, oh my God. And now the Undertaker stopping the hell out of Maven. Beat the hell out of him now. Undertaker ordering the rest of the ministry to beat the hell out of Maven. Oh my god, you gotta remember this is his, this was their tag team partner for a long time. Oh, but they don't give a shit, they don't care. They're gonna do what they're told, they don't wanna be inducted either. The Undertaker sliding a chair into the ring for them to use. Now as the leader of the Ministry of Darkness looks on, Ron Van Dam with that steel chair, Billy Kimmon holding up an unconscious Maven. Oh my god, don't do this, don't do this! Oh my god! What a chair shot to the skull! Oh my god, Maven is knocked out completely, he's gotta be! Rob Van Dam sitting up that table now. And now the Undertaker ordering both men out of the ring. What the hell is the Undertaker gonna do to that table? Oh my god, Taker, don't do this, don't let that table on fire! Guys, don't try this at home, please, for the love of god, don't try this at home! No, not a last ride, not a last ride. Oh my god, that table's lit on fire. Undertaker. Oh my god. Undertaker with a last ride. A last ride through a flaming table to Maven. Maven just went through a flaming table by the Undertaker. Maven, you have now been inducted into hell's hallway. Rest in peace. Oh my god, this is absolutely brutal to watch, guys. The following contest is a triple threat table elimination match. The only way to win this matchup is to put all your opponents through a table. Introducing first in the ring now, we have Batista. And his opponent in the other corner, the Big Red Machine. Kane and his opponent making his way to the ring now 
one half of the WT Wrestling Tag Team Champions, accompanied by the other half of the Tag Team Champions, Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Triple H, one half of the Tag Team Champions, accompanied by his best friend, Shawn Michaels, making his way into this matchup. Before Triple H can even get in the ring, Kane's got Batista right by the throat, but what is this? Triple H now! Oh! Just smacks the Big Red Machine in the head with that belt! Triple H now throwing his belt to the ground. Oh my god, he better not look around! Because Kane's right behind him! Oh my god, Kane's got him on the throne here! Oh my god, look at the height! Oh my god, what a choke slam! A huge choke slam by the Big Red Machine! But, oh, but Batista with a huge tackle to the Big Red Machine knocks him right over the top rope! Batista now going after the Big Red Machine here. Oh, huge right hands and forearms to the face of Kane. Now Batista shoving the boot right into his face and choking Kane with his foot. Batista now going after one of those solid steel wooden tables. Setting it up near Kane. Oh my God, Kane throws Batista face first into the ring apron and grabs him once again here. No, 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 don't do this, don't do this. Oh, face first into the ring post. He picks him up by his throat. Oh, choke slam through a table. Batista's been eliminated. And now the big red machine going after Triple H. Oh, but Triple H with a knee right to the face of Kane. Now look at this. Oh, the strength with a suplex. The strength of Triple H going to the outside of the ring now. Triple H now sliding that table into the ring. Kane getting his back to his feet as... Triple H, the Cerebral Assassin, setting that table up. But wait, Kane! Kane's got him by the throat! Kane's got him by the throat! But Shawn Michaels on the ring apron! Oh, Kane lets him go. Oh, no. Kane distracted by Shawn Michaels. Oh, big boo! And Shawn Michaels goes right on top of the table. And now, Kane! Kane! Oh, my God! Kane dives and knocks Shawn Michaels from the table. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michaels is not part of the match. And Kane didn't get put through the table. So the matchup continues, and now Kane going to finish his dirty work in the ring. Oh, Kane kicks him right in the head. He picks up Triple H. Kane's going to go for a tombstone pile driver. Oh, my God. No, he's not. Look at the look on Kane's face. He, he's looking at somebody on the Titantron. Oh, my God. It's the hardcore champion, Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman staring right in, into Kane's soul from the stage. These men absolutely hate each other. So much rivalry. Boiled blood between these two. A low blow and oh, pedigree through a table by Triple H. Here is your winner, Triple H. Triple H is done. He is beating, beating both men. Oh my God, but that distraction on the stage right there helped Triple H out. But wait a minute, Kane, Kane sits right up, Kane sits right up, and now he's going to go after Steve Blackman, he's going after Steve Blackman, Steve Blackman hightails it out of here, and there goes the Big Red Machine, the following contest is a two-on-one handicap match, hardcore rules do apply, introducing first, in the ring now, the team of Michael and Cody, this is going to be very interesting, guys, how these two men from WTE Tough Enough, both winners, go up against somebody here tonight. But let's see how well these two men work as a tag team. And their opponent making his way to the ring now, the world's largest athlete, The Big Show. Oh, my God. Michael and Cody have to go up against the world's largest athlete here tonight, The Big Show which is equal to fighting two men alone. Oh my God, Cody went after him. And now Big Show. Oh my God, don't throw Cody over the top rope. Oh my God. Oh my God, did you see how far Big Show just threw Cody down here across the stage. But wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Look at the look on Big Show's face after Michael just hit him with a chair. Michael begging and pleading not to come in the ring. Michael's in some trouble. No. Oh. He takes the Big Show down. 
terror shot after terror shot here. Cody now finally coming around here. Trying to get back to his feet. And now he's going underneath the ring for weapons. Cody now has one of those big, huge ladders from underneath the ring. Big show to enter knock out for those terror shots by Michael. Michael getting the ladder handed to him by Cody. Big show coming around now. Oh my god. They're gonna hit him with the ladder. Oh, but Big Show kicks the ladder. Kicks the ladder, knocks both men down. And now Big Show grabbing that ladder from him. He's, oh, grabs the ladder. And now Big Show's got Cody by the throat here. He's got him by the throat. Big Show's got Cody up. What are you doing, Big Show? Oh my God. Oh my God, Michael just saved his partner. Big Show was about to power slam or something, uh, Cody right through that ladder, but Michael, Michael speared the hell out of the Big Show. Big Show is down, Cody getting back to his feet, along with Michael here. Michael telling Cody to go get a table, as he oh, takes care of the Big Show some more here. Cody now sliding that table right into the ring here, folks. What do they have in mind? Michael now set up the barbed wire table. Oh my god, no. He's making it a barbed wire table. What the hell is wrong with this kid? He's picking up Big Show. Both men have to lay Big Show on the barbed wire table because how heavy he is. Big Show now laid on that barbed wire table. Cody cheering his partner on in this matchup. Michael at the top of the ring post. Don't do this. Five star. Oh, five star frog splash. Five star frog splash. Cover. One, two, three. Here is your winners. The team of Cody and Michael. What an absolute incredible performance by this new team. It looks like Michael and Cody did a hell of a job at a team effort. Taking down the world's largest athlete, putting him through a barbed wire table. What an incredible matchup here tonight. The following contest is a Falls County kind of era matchup. It is a non title match. Introducing first in the ring now, we have Chris Jericho. Trink it in, man. After I kick the rock's ass, let's go celebrate backstage with a little bit of the bubbly. And his opponent, making his way to the ring now. The current ring defending WWE Wrestling Intercontinental Champion. The Rock! Know your role and shut your damn mouth, Jericho! Everybody watching at home who smacks the like button and is subscribed with that notification bell turned on, The Rock says, you alright. What makes you think, Jericho, that you can go one on one with the great one? It's actually really easy, Rock. You see, it doesn't matter what you think. Oh, the Rock! The Rock just hit him with the Intercontinental Championship, knocking Chris Jericho down. Oh, the Rock with a huge power slam off the ropes, and oh, what a what an elbow drop by the People's Champion, Jericho now, escaping the ring. Oh, the Rock, of course, is gonna follow him. On. But wait a minute, Jericho! Off the, oh my God! Off the top, off the top rope, out of nowhere, knocking the Rock down. Goes for a cover. One, two. Oh, but the Rock got the shoulder up at two there. What an incredible move by Jericho! Oh, Jericho gets speared out of nowhere by the Brahma Bull. And the steel steps and now the right hands by the rock, the right hand. And now the rock with a garbage can lid. Jericho now trying to get back to his feet after that huge spear by the rock. Oh, the rock with that huge shot right to the skull. And again, the rock just beating the hell out of Jericho, having fun with it. Oh no, the rock now, ready for the rock bottom. He's gonna rock bottom. Jericho. Oh no, Jericho better watch out here, folks. Don't do it. Oh no! Code breaker! Code breaker out of nowhere by Jericho! Jericho now! Cover! One, two, three! Here is your winner, Chris Jericho! What? Chris Jericho just beat the rock here in a Falls Night Ever matchup! 
The Rock can't believe it. The Rock cannot believe what just happened. Chris Jericho has just beat the Intercontinental Champion. If this was an IC title match, The Rock would have lost the championship. Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm being told in my headset that we need a camera backstage. What the hell is going on? Somebody get back there. Here we are in the backstage area. What the hell is going on here? Kane, Kane. Oh, Kane and Steve Blackman, the hardcore champion, are fighting here. Oh my god. Oh, Kane throws Steve Blackman. Oh my god. As the hardcore champion is down, Steve Blackman is in trouble. Kane picking a steel chair up. And now Kane. Oh, Kane with a huge, huge chair shot. Oh. Now Kane being the hell out of Steve Blackman some more. Kane choking the hell out of Steve Blackman. Oh! Well, Steve Blackman hits Kane right in the skull with that lead pipe or fighting stick. And now Steve Blackman in control. Kane. Boy, I'm gonna Kane. And now Kane's got him on the throat. Don't do it, Kane. Oh my god! Choke slams the hardcore champion right through that table, the catering table. And now we got referees coming backstage. Making sure to keep Steve Blackman down so no more fighting happens. We got security guards. Armed security has Kane. Armed security has Kane pinned so he cannot get after Steve Blackman. What chaos here. Oh my God, a Shane McMahon. All right, you two. I'm sick and tired of this. This is going to stop. Because it's going to be Kane versus Steve Blackman at WWE's pay-per-view event, Extreme Limit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Steve Blackman, the hardcore champion, will defend his title up against Kane at WWE's pay-per-view event, Extreme Limit. Oh my god! The following contest is the main event this evening. It is a TLC match. Tables, ladders, and chairs. And it's for a shot at the Intercontinental Championship only way to win this matchup is to retrieve the briefcase which includes the title shot contract at the top hanging high above the ring introducing first making his way to the ring now Jeff Hardy Jeff Hardy not wasting any time getting right into the ring ready to start this matchup here tonight guys and his opponent, accompanied to the ring by his manager, Eddie Guerrero, Rikishi. Remember, these men have not been getting along for the past couple episodes. Rikishi not making his way to the ring, yelling at Eddie Guerrero while he yells back at him. This is going to be a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. But wait a minute. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy knocks both men down with a suicide-like dive over the top rope and now he slides back into the ring because he's going for that huge ladder now he's dragging that huge ladder into the ring he's got that ladder set up over Kishi oh Rikishi Rikishi out of nowhere with a chair shot he grabs the poor kid here and now off the ropes oh a huge splash Rikishi now setting up that chair picking up Hardy Rikishi Oh, with a sidewalk slam on top of the steel chair. Jeff Hardy holding onto his lower back as Rikishi goes to the outside, knocking chairs off the table. And now what is this? Eddie Guerrero is telling Rikishi to stop. He's telling him he's going to help him. Rikishi and Eddie Guerrero have that table. But look in the ring. Look in the ring. Jeff Hardy off the ropes. Off the chair. Oh, my God. Oh my god, knocks both men out and completely annihilated the table along with Rikishi. Unbelievable, Jeff Hardy, the amount daredevil that he is. And now where's Hardy going? Hardy now on the top rope here as he sees Eddie Guerrero laying motionless on the floor. Don't do it, kid. Oh, Swanton, Swanton bomb on Eddie Guerrero. Jeff Hardy now. Oh, he's grabbing another ladder. Hardy now with a huge ladder. Where is he going with that? Well, he's got that ladder propped up. What does he have in mind? Oh, my God. He's got nothing in mind because he's got him in a Samoan drop. Oh, Samoan drop. Samoan drop right through the ladder. Poor Jeff Hardy got caught. His dreams of being an intercontinental 
champion might just come to an end during this TLC Intercontinental contendership here. And now, Rikishi going for a ladder. He's going to climb the ladder. Rikishi, you're too fat. Get off of it. You're going to break it. Rikishi so close to grabbing that briefcase. Jeff Hardy now getting back to his feet, rolling into the ring. Oh my God, he's looking at that ladder. Table's up on the outside. Hardy now, what are you doing? Don't do it. Oh my God, Hardy's tipping that ladder. Don't do this. Oh my God. Rikishi, Rikishi falls off the ladder all the way through three tables. And now, Hardy climbing the ladder slowly but surely here. Almost at the top. Jeff Hardy's touching the briefcase. Oh, but damn it, it's that Eddie Guerrero. It's that damn Eddie Guerrero with that steel chair. Hardy almost knocked out here. Rikishi's manager, Eddie Guerrero, has Jeff Hardy by the hair now. What is he going to do here? Eddie Guerrero's trying to DDT Jeff Hardy out the ladder. Don't do this. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeff Hardy with a back body drop right through my outer table off the ladder. And now Jeff Hardy reaching for the briefcase. Here's your winner and number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Jeff Hardy. Oh my god, look at the chaos. Look at the mayhem, the broken bodies. It looks like we're at a car wreck at I-95 here. You have got to be kidding me. We need EMTs out here. What a hell of an episode. Smack the like button. Subscribe with that notification bell turned on. So you never miss an upload. And you guys don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later.